The celebrity chef Nigella Lawson has today given the first broadcast interview since she appeared in court during the trial of her former assistants, the Grillo sisters. Ms Lawson appeared on ABC's Good Morning America. ABC will broadcast the second season of her television cookery competition in America. You're so uh, focused on answering the questions to the best of your ability that actually you, you don't have an enormous awareness of yourself. Maybe that's a good thing. It's a good thing. And I mean, obviously... I mean, my only desire really was to protect my children as much as possible, which I wasn't, alas, always possible, you know, I couldn't do, but that's what I wanted to do. And actually, you know, since then, I've eaten a lot of chocolate, <laughs> had uh, <laughs> had a very good Christmas, and yes. I'm into the new year. Were you, I mean, speaking of, I mean, to have your very private moments that you didn't want the world to know, uh, to have them on public display. How do you handle that with your children and your family? Obviously, you went through something this summer as well with your very public divorce. How do you protect your children? I don't know. I mean, to, I have to be honest, to, to have not only your private life, but distortions of your private life put on display is mortifying. But, um, you know, the, the there are people going through an awful lot worse, mm -hmm. and to dwell on it, dwell on any of it would be self-pity, and I'm I don't like to do that. Exactly. So. That was 2013. It is. This and is now, 2014. Look, and there's, and there's pie. <laughs> <laughs> that was Nigella Lawson on ABC America. If you're wondering, incidentally, why there was a line of three other people standing alongside her, it's to do with the set for uh, the way her new series there will look. Uh, let's have a word with risk and reputation management expert uh, Jonathan Hemus. Jonathan, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Has she made the right judgment here, do you, do you think, to speak out now and on that particular programme? I think absolutely. Of course, one of the key things Nigella has going for her is she came into this situation with a very strong and a very positive reputation. She's admired and liked by, by men and women alike, which is quite rare for celebs. And I think she's positioned herself very well in this situation. She's, she remains a, a strong and, and, and dignified woman, and yet there's an element of, of a victim that she has created in terms of her her positioning and I think that the choice of program was ideal this was not a a threatening or a challenging interview but it gave her another opportunity to put her side of the story uh, no you're I mean clearly if you go on the television channel that's already signed you up you can be confident that you're not going to be given too hard a time is that fair a absolutely and I think also that program was perfect in terms of the people that she needs to reach and the kinds of people with whom she's built her reputation it's a program that is watched heavily by by women the kind of people uh, who will be watching her program and so it's well targeted both in terms of the line of questioning she can expect and also in terms of the people that she's reaching is it possible to judge at this stage what all this has done to her reputation and clearly here we're talking more about the united states because that's where she's just appeared on television and where this new series will appear the fact that she's admitted to taking drugs although it wasn't a habit how much is that going to to change the way people there see her do you think i think so far she has played this situation very very well as i say she came into it with a very strong reputation which always helps during the the court case uh, itself she was perceived to be honest. She was also perceived, as I say, to be primarily the victim rather than the perpetrator of any crime. She's now come out and, again, said the right things, appeared in the right places. I think now it's time for her to let her cooking do the talking. Um, and, of course, to be sure that there aren't any further revelations to come out. That would be damaging, but I think she's positioned herself for a recovery here. Mm. Would you anticipate her doing something similar here in the near future? I think it's something she's undoubtedly considering. I don't think she should go on a on a media tour, as it were. I think, as I say, she needs to get her messages out now, but then get back to her day job, as it were. If you think back to David Beckham, who had uh, problems in his personal life and also professionally with the sending off in the World Cup, he let his football do the talking after those issues and rebuilt that wonderful brand Beckham and brand Nigella I sense is following a similar strategy. Okay, Jonathan Hemus in Birmingham, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.